Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Computer Science Knowledge. And this is our and this tutorial you guys are gonna learn how to align HTML form elements. So let's dive it right into that. First of all, I have to open my text editor, and in this case I used Sublime Text. So this is an empty file. First of all, we have to save it. Go to file, save. And let's save it on desktop and name it form.html save. So let's get started from typing HTML and let's give it a title of form alignment. Scan the body. Now here, uh, let's uh, let's place our form in a dev. So let's define a dev first with an ID, ID of form. Close the dev, and inside the dev, we need to place our form. So form, and in here, let's first. Uh, Let's first add a label. Let's name this label name. And after this label, let's, uh, let's place an input for that label. So input. The type of this input have to be text. And the name have to be uh, name. Is now let's copy and paste this a couple times. This have to be your father name, father name input, and this have to be our phone number. Okay, here the type of the input have to be text, and this one have to be father name. And here the input type have to be number. We want to take the input from the user as a number, so number, and the name of the input have to be uh, phone or phone number. Okay, something wrong here. We just mistyped the phone. So let's save these changes and come to the browser. Here we have it. Oh, we don't want to be like that. We want the form elements to place right and underneath of each other. So let's just add a br tags here. Br tag here, br tag here, and as well here. Br. Enter less. Come to the browser. Uh, there we have it. Now, what we're gonna do is we will uh, align these labels. Like the second label takes more plus than the first level, or the second label takes more plus than the third one. We want them to be just placed right in the same line under each other. So, how we can do that? Let's add some CSS for that. <coughs> style okay let's first uh, target our labels and let's give it a width of for example 100 pixels and uh, the labels have to be displayed In inline block. Let's see that. All right, that's pretty nice. So let's give our form a, a title, H2, and the, this have to be a login form. And let's give it a submit button as well. 
sorry, let me put and the type have to be submit and the name have to be what submit as well. Centralize. So let's give her form a background of block to look like really nice. So we place our form in a dev and that dev ID is form. So let's select or target that form and let's give it a border radius of 10 pixels, a background of black, and a new color of white so we can see that the labels which is right there that's pretty much but it takes all the whole dev let's give our dev some width so that we can see only the background or farm is the black so width of let's give it 290 pixels might be good or enough yeah that's nice now let's give our form a little bit padding so we see a little bit uh, extra space between the labels and the form border again uh, form have a padding of five pixels if four pixels is right now let's target our forms title to be placed in the middle of the form so that is an h2 let's target the h2 in our css form let's give it a text align of center let's check that's good and now let's give her inputs a little bit margin to uh, find a little space between each other so again in label uh, let's give it a margin of 4 pixels let's check that if it is good okay that's pretty much nice now let's give it our submit button to take the whole dev. This whole dev have to be taken by submit button. Okay, let's give our submit button an ID first. Submit. Let's target that. Let's give it a width of 100% of the dev. That's pretty nice. Now let's, uh, let's give our submit button a little bit uh, margin so we can see a little space between the input and our submit button. Give it a little margin of maybe 10 pixels. Check that. That's pretty nice. So as we give our submit button margin and the lift margin is 10 pixels, so it cam out, comes out of the dev. So what we can do here, let's just give it a margin top of 10 pixels. That gonna be nice. Okay, that's pretty much nice. Okay, that was everything about HTML form line. You can add any any other styles to form as you can wish. And thank you very much for watching. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it 
see support from you guys but I need your support indeed and of course if you want to see more of my videos in the future so then uh, subscribe it of course subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos thank you very much